For months, health officials have said contact tracing is key to curbing the spread of the virus. That's right. This is the process of tracking down the people who came into contact with people who are positive for the virus. And our Spencer Blake takes a look at uh, how Maricopa County is handling uh, the resources to carry out this important tool. Maricopa County got almost $400 million from the CARES Act, and they put $15 million of that into contact tracing. Maricopa County Public Health has 86 extra people on staff right now, and one of their big efforts is contact tracing, reaching out to people who were in the presence of a COVID-19 positive person. Though he says it's important, County Spokesman Fields Mosley says contact tracing isn't a magic wand now because the virus has already spread so quickly. The president of the Arizona Medical Association agrees. At this point in the pandemic, with the numbers that we're seeing, Contact tracing, at least my understanding, is not as useful now as it was earlier in our process. You're identified as someone who's exposed to COVID-19. Still, the Arizona National Guard has 40 guardsmen on the state's exposure notification team, with 75 more coming next week. They've been trained to call people on exposure lists around the state and tell them what to look for, whom to contact if they get sick, and where to get tested. Right now, Dr. Ross Goldberg says everyone should wear a face mask and be patient because we won't see the effects for a couple weeks at least. When we come back down, it doesn't mean it goes away. And it's probably easier to, to manage when you have a smaller group. But that way also, if you do contact tracing at that point, you can try to get ahead of groups that will maybe hot spots. As for the 4% of Maricopa County's CARES Act money that's going towards contact tracing, Mosley says it's plenty to get the job done. And if public health needed more money for contact tracing, the board would give it to them. Everyone who's on one of those exposure lists gets an automated survey, usually via text. Right now, about 20% of those respondents are filling those out on their own, and that saves the county's time because those who don't respond, well, that's where the exposure notification team comes into play with those phone calls trying to get a hold of the people who are at risk. I'm Spencer Blake for Arizona's Family.